What's up video creator, it's videomark.net. Today we will be looking at tracked callouts or callout tracking in After Effects, which is also a very simple process. It looks very cool. It requires only two or three steps to create these and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so you want to create a tracking callout in After Effects. Other tutorials are making it really complicated. You're gonna watch them a couple of minutes to creating the callout. Let's keep this short and cut to the chase right here. Here's a shape, it's basically just a line. This is our callout and here's the text. And let's say we've got this shot right here. I used this clip in, in, uh, in a tutorial the other day. And we want to track, let's say this area right in the middle here. And um, whatever it says, we are here, or this is, this is the main building or whatever it is. We're tracking this area right here, okay? So the way you do that is um, you actually open up the tracker panel. If you don't see that panel, head over to the window menu and click on tracker. And in the tracker panel, we have to have our clip selected here. Uh, click on track camera. There's another option called track motion, which would actually track, it's a different workflow. I'll do that in the next tutorial for tomorrow, but today we're gonna track the camera. And you will see that this actually created an effect called 3D Camera Tracker. You can actually leave everything as default. Usually it says fixed angle of view. If you have drone shots, usually have a fixed angle of view, they would not zoom in. But if you have a zoom, then you can set that to variable zoom or the camera is panning, but usually you will set that, you will leave that to default, okay? Um, this detailed analysis is usually unchecked. I would check that as well when you want to create a um, solid track or a solid solve uh, of the camera. And when you do that, actually it will start analyzing the footage um, by itself. If not, you can hit that analyze button right here. It's grayed out since it's, it, it already has started. This is going to take a minute, so I'll uh, skip forward and I'll see you in a bit. All right, we jumped forward a little bit. It's almost done analyzing the footage. Once it's done with that, it will actually solve the camera, which means it will it will create the virtual camera. And then we get to decide where we want to place our actual call out. All right, when it's done solving the camera, you will see a whole bunch of colored points. And when you hover, um, I'm zooming in a little bit with the mouse wheel. And when you hover over these, you will see this target right here. And as you can see, it's also taking, estimating the angle between certain points. Uh, here it's assuming it's pointing upwards. This is pointing downwards a little bit and so on and so forth. If that, don't worry about that since we only need the 3D position, you can still rotate the call out so it's facing forward or whatever you attach to this position. position. And in this case, I want to take this tree area right here like this. And when you found the right position, right click and click on create solid and camera. And then as you can see here, it will create a solid and a 3D camera. And when we scrub through, you can see that it's actually uh, moving around. And since the camera has solved this whole thing, it's actually following the, the, the movement of, of the drone. The solid is actually set to, to 3D already, so it's, so it's actually moving in 3D space and the camera can actually project the right angle, okay? So the last thing that we wanna do, we wanna bring in our callout that we had designed, this one here. And again, you can of course animate this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to keep it simple. So on the project, it's comp number two, and we're bringing it in. And then we would have to uh, set, that, set that to 3D as well. And the next thing you actually want to copy the position of the solid to your callout. Okay. So go in and click on position, hit control C, control V. And as you can see, it, it has jumped to the right position. Now make the solid invisible. It should be, 
exactly on the right position, which it is. Right now it's a little small, so we want to scale it up a little bit. Hit the S key, and you can still reposition a little bit like this, so it actually indicates the right position. Let's see, we want to target this area right here, and when we screw up through, zoom out a little bit again, this should be, let's uh, render a preview, this should be rock solid, okay? So with drone shots, this works really well. Um, again, if you have other shots like a, um, a gimbal shot, for instance, um, you have to see what um, most of the time you will get away with um, static objects like buildings, um, foliage of the, the foliage of these trees, probably not so much because it's moving. So you really want to make, keep an eye on solid objects and After Effects actually does a pretty good job tracking these things. And once um, the preview is rendered, let's see what it, what it looks like but you can already see it's it's a very solid track okay actually it's not really tracking it's solving the 3d camera the track is the other one that we're going to do we're going to track that boat since it's moving but here we have this very solid um call out and it's looking fantastic okay and again feel free to animate this call out to your liking to spice it up to, to even spice it up even more. And that's basically it, right? So pretty simple. So we actually, all we did, we selected our clip, we uh, hit tr the track motion, no, <laughs> the track camera option under the tracker panel. And then it has resolved and we have uh, then selected one of these colored points, right click and created a camera and a solid. And all we, the, the very last step was bringing in that call out and copying um, the position of that um, placeholder solid to our call out. That's all we did. All right. Okay. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you learned something new, feel free to hit the like button. Also feel free to leave a comment if you have any suggestions for tutorials or any further questions. And I will see you in the next tutorial.